you're in Arizona and you're having a hard time finding properties to hit your cash flow goals, I have an alternative for you. Let's take a look. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Now, if you're out there in Arizona, like my man Randy is, or maybe you're somewhere else, right? Maybe you're in New York, maybe you're in California. The numbers, they're not good for cash flow investors these days. Very hard to get started on a budget, number one. Number two, the cash flow is being squeezed, right? So you go to the cheaper markets, the low-cost markets. One of those markets is Cleveland, okay? The Cleveland, Ohio market. Now, that's what I represent, my team. We run the largest scattered site rental portfolio of its kind in the Cleveland market. Have sold over $200 million worth of properties, just like properties that I'm going to show you later today, Randy. Now, what you've been doing thus far, Randy, uh, you've been looking at C and D asset classes, right? Now those, and I talk about these all over many of the shows on Holton Wise TV, those properties come with a decent amount of risk, right? So today I wanted to do something just a little different for you. I wanted to move you up in an asset class, let you see what is possible if you go uh, in a very nice, stable neighborhood. Now this is an area that I would consider half B, half A, right, on the east side of town. Uh, the city of Lakewood, that's what we're talking about today. It's a B neighborhood. Then it goes all the way up to an A neighborhood. So I know you're investing and you're expanding your portfolio. You're beginning to work with your aunt, right? I think it's always good to consider uh, doing, uh, <clears throat> spreading out your risks, right? Uh, diversifying your portfolio, right? I think if you're going to get a lot of higher risk assets, you should balance those out with some lower risk stuff like what we're looking at today. And I think that's especially important if you're bringing family into the equation, folks, they always say don't mix business and pleasure, right? Because when shit hits the fan, things can get a little rocky. So for you, Randy, bringing in a family member, I think that is just one more reason to proceed with some extra level of caution and take a look at some super low risk stuff like we're gonna do right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers on this quad, all right? This is a solid deal, folks. But there's some things that have to happen to get it done, right? To get it to make sense, okay? 1623 Hopkins Avenue, Lakewood, 44107. It's been on the market almost two months now, 47 days. The price, $309,905. Now, let's talk about this. Quads, number one. I love quads. I think a quad is the very best investment a person can ever get, especially if they're a new investor. Reason being, you can use a 30-year residential loan. A 30-year residential loan is by far the best financing product you can get. The best way to invest, the best way to stretch your funds is with the residential mortgage. It's a 10, or I'm sorry, it's a 30-year loan. It's got a fixed interest rate, a low interest rate. It's tax deductible. You only get 10 of them, though. That's where that 10 came from. You only get 10. So I recommend you folks get your first residential mortgage on your personal home, then use the remaining nine on investment properties. Always take care of home base first. If you get nine single-family mortgages, nine single-family homes with your nine residential mortgages, you get nine rental income checks a month. If you take those same nine residential mortgages and you get nine four-unit apartment buildings, you get 36 rental income checks a month. Can't be beaten. As soon as you go up to the five-unit apartment building, you no longer qualify for this 30-year loan. You have to do commercial financing, and it's, it's a whole mess. You don't get 30-year terms. It's a problem. Four units, the best. As far as neighborhoods go, this is Lakewood, Ohio. I would say the east end of Lakewood, Ohio is a B-grade neighborhood. That's where this is at. As you trail further west, it actually turns into an A-grade neighborhood. Lakewood is one of... 
if not the most popular market, sub-market in the Cleveland market in regards to renters. You do not have like long-term vacancy in Lakewood, dude. You put your property on the market, you got a line of people trying to apply for it within days, within hours. Incredibly high demand space. There's a lot of nightlife. It's very trendy. People love Lakewood, okay? So this is a B-grade property. Lakewood itself is half B, half A, right? So I love all that. Properties fly within minutes of being listed. They go boom, 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 multiple offers, which leads me to the next point I want to make. Very important point. This has been on the market for 47 days. If quads are awesome and Lakewood is awesome and properties fly, why is it been on the market for so long? Because that price is stupid. Three hundred nine thousand nine hundred five. That price don't make no sense. It's a great property. It's a very nice property, but it ain't three hundred thousand dollars. Nice, right? Okay. As we cruise through the photos, we got two units here that have been rehabbed, looking good, right? Everything's looking nice on this. This one is one of the dated units, but we have some nice upgraded units, right? Everything is looking fly here, okay? So the property itself is awesome, but it's not $309,000 awesome, okay? What we need to do is position ourselves with a lowball offer on this one. $250,000 is what I think this property is really worth. $250,000. The current rent roll, 2,598. Very close to market rent, 2,598. That's a schedule of 31176 As far as uh, what comes in for uh, of that 31176 we have to add in our fixed and variable expense estimates, right? So 31176 is scheduled to come in. 18425 is scheduled to go out as far as our expenses, right? We have repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? We have our taxes, okay? Insurance, water, sewer, lawn care, right? What you see there, right, the 1558 for each of those top three lines, that's not money you're actually spending. That is money that uh, <clears throat> is coming back to you now while we're fully occupied and there's no major issues but what you have to understand is there's going to be issues down the road right you're going to eventually replace furnaces furnaces last 30 years that cost three grand hot water tanks cost a thousand you got to replace those every 15 years roofs it's like an eight thousand dollar roof you got to replace that every 30 years right so you're saving that money for that when tenants do move out you got to upgrade the units right so that's going to be several thousand dollars you don't do that until they move out but you know eventually they're going to move out, right? Even though Lakewood's in high demand, people don't live in your houses forever, guys. This is multifamily investing, right? This is rental properties. If they wanted to live there for a very long time, they'd probably buy a house. But even if people buy a house, folks, you got to understand, they sell their homes on average every seven years. So turnovers are part of the game. So we account for all that, right? So your clear NOI should be 12750 At a price point of 250 k you put down 62 Bank kicks in 187 on that beautiful 30-year mortgage. That would be approximately a 5.2% 5 a 5 cash on cash return, right? Now, for those of you investing in Cleveland looking for the ultra-sexy numbers, you ain't going to get them in a neighborhood this nice, right? If you want to Get higher paper cash on cash returns. We got to go to a higher level of risk, right? We got to hit C grade neighborhoods. As far as the price point that I think this property is worth and what the seller is trying to get, three hundred nine thousand nine hundred five dollars. I think the seller is a little crazy on that, right? Uh, my team actually sold this property to uh, this particular seller several years ago, right? And we did some management for him. Uh, not 100% sure if we're still managing it. I don't recall. I don't typically touch base on a day-to-day -day basis, basis with my management team, but given that uh, we are not the sales team on this one, I would assume that management agreement ended at some point. What I can tell you, though, is from what I know, this investor, when we sold it to them, he paid much less than what the property is currently worth, okay? We've seen a lot of... Uh, Prices going up, right? We've seen a lot of appreciation in the Cleveland market over the last few years. You're seeing that all over the country, right? So it might seem totally crazy to get him to take an offer that's sixty thousand dollars less than his list price, but I know for a fact that that will still net him a very large profit. So he might be 
uh, enticed to do that. And if he doesn't, that's okay. That's the highest offer I think makes sense. And we move on to other properties, folks. That's what the name of the game is, right? It's doing due diligence on properties, putting out our best offer. And if sellers take it, great. If they don't, we don't want to overpay. We simply move on to the next property. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.